So today we are going to do leave it on command. When you're doing this, you're going to need a couple of things. One, you're going to need an okay treat. Now I'm just using some kibble. Um, they love their kibble, but it's still just an okay treat when you look at some of the different treats that you can have. So you're going to get an okay treat. Then you need to have a bowl of really yummy things, better than the okay treat. Anytime we're asking a dog to leave something alone, we really want to teach them that if they leave it alone, we have something better. Okay, so the way you're going to do this is we're going to start putting the command in fairly early. Um, and it'll be several steps with this. But remember, when we're putting the command in, it's not that we're giving the command, we're just associating the word with the behavior. So you will first start out with your OK treat. There are a couple ways you can do this. You can just put it between your fingers. Um, if your dog has not a very soft mouth, then you can do it in a fist. It is up to you. I like doing it with the fingers uh, just because the dog has a little more access to it. But we want to make sure the dog may have access to it but can't actually get their mouth on it. You really don't want them getting the reward at all that's in your hand. So basically what we're going to do is have an okay treat between our fingers. We're going to allow the dog to mouth and, and try to get it. And when the dog chooses to leave it alone, in other words, when they pull their head away, then my job is to mark it with my verbal marker and then give them something better. It is very important that we don't move our hand from the dog, but the dog moves its head from my hand. Because the things that we're going to ask a dog to leave alone, they're not going to move. You know, we're not going to pick up a dead animal and remove it from them. We want them to learn to leave it alone when we say the command, leave it. Okay, so, okay treat, and then a bunch of yummy treats. Right, so let's get started. Right. You ready? The okay treat between the fingers. Set it there. Good girl. When she starts to leave it alone, you can use your words, or you can just go ahead and wait and mark it. Good girl. We mark it, then we give another treat with something better. I don't want you moving your hand away until after they've left it alone. So you mark it first, then you can remove your hand. Uh, it's very important that they remove their head from your hand, not the other way around. Miss Bella. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. So we start putting a word with it, leave it. If you say it and they haven't done it, no big deal. Just get better at your timing. Good girl could leave it. Yes. Good. Good job. Good girl. Good girl could leave it. Good. They do not have to put their mouth on it in order to earn the reward. Leave it. Good girl, good leave it. Do not repeat the command, because remember, you're not really giving the command. You're just trying to make your timing to where, as you're saying it, they're about to leave it alone, so you're associating the word with it. Leave it. Good girl, good job. They will usually pick this up very quickly. We have worked with her just a tad on this. Um, not as much as our automatics. Good girl, that's a good job. Good, leave it, good. Once they have kind of the hand down, then you can start doing it to where maybe it's on the ground or it's just in a different spot. So now spot. we'll put it on the ground and I like to either put my hand on it um, or keep my foot close by. You can also drop it. Um, you can do this kind of in the kitchen and drop it so the dogs learn that even with dropping something, good girl could leave it. Even dropping something, uh, they're understanding that we don't pick it up as well. Good girl, good, leave it. Good job. Good. Leave it. Good girl. Good job. Good job. We can move it a little closer. Leave it. Just got to be ready. Good girl. Good. Leave it. It's very normal for them to try for it. Leave it. Good. The biggest thing is that we do not want to ask them to leave something alone that we're going to, to give them. So you wouldn't do this with their food. You wouldn't put their food down and say, leave it, and then allow them to eat because then you're setting yourself up to teach them to just stare at the dead animal in hopes that they will get um, a command or permission to eat it. Good girl, good leave it, good job. Good job, good girl. So 
even though this is something she can have later, it's nothing that I'm going to give her right now. Always want to make sure I have something better. Good girl could leave it. Good job. Now, and you can do this with anything. One of her favorite things is mulch. So let me show you how to do it with mulch. Um, and if I'm using mulch, then even the kibble can be something that I can use as a reward because it should be better than the mulch. Um, however, you do want to have a variety of treats just in case and um, to make sure that you do find something that is more rewarding than the mulch. So here I have a piece of mulch that is one of her favorite things. So I can do it the same way I would do with, with food. Just put it between my fingers, hold it there, wait for her to leave it alone. Good girl could leave it and give her something that should taste better than the mulch. Leave it. Good girl, good leave it. Good. Because she's leaving it alone a lot, I can go ahead and just kind of put it in my hand where it's more open, and then my, my thumb is just on it. Leave it. Good job. Good girl. And we want the leave it to work with one command. Not the tone, not your volume, not repeating it over and over, just a very simple leave it. Give them three to five seconds to respond and then mark the good behavior of that good girl that knows coming away from it. Good job, good girl. This one's gonna be definitely a challenge for her once I put it on the ground. Right. Good, leave it. I can see that she is, good girl, she is leaving it alone, but she is staring at it, wanting it. Good girl, good, leave it. Good job, good girl. Leave it. Good girl, good job. That's a good leave it. Good job. Leave it. That's a good job. Good girl. So you can really use any item for this. If your dog loves tissue paper, toilet paper, just get a small amount and make sure this just kind of in your hand to where you have that control. Okay, good girl. Good leave it. Good job. Good girl. Remember, she does not have to put her mouth on it in order to leave it alone. Good girl. So when your dog starts to understand that leave it means to take their nose off something, then you can start putting that in some other areas. My recommendation is go out somewhere and maybe in your backyard or if you're on a leash and you're just maybe in the, in the front yard or in a neighborhood and your dog is sniffing something, give them a second to sniff it and when you see that they are just about done sniffing it, I want you to say the words leave it and usually what happens is your dog goes, oh I know that word and as soon as they do, good puppy and give them something yummy and this will just teach them that that command can be used anywhere not just when you're in the living room not just when you're outside on your deck and you're working on it and remember how you say it's very important it needs to be a very simple leave it not leave it leave it leave it leave it leave it because that just means for a dog to swallow it faster so get out and go ahead and practice this this is a great exercise you can practice just right there at home um, I don't spend a ton of time doing it maybe a minute two minutes just do a quick little training session and then try it again a little bit later. And like I said, try it with different things. If your dog loves tissue, use tissue. If your dog loves sticks, find a small stick that you can use. Just make sure you always have control and don't ever pull your hand away. So if you're asking them to leave something alone, if they're not leaving it alone, don't do this. Just leave it right there. And then when they do leave it alone, immediately, good boy or good girl, then you may remove and get another treat. But I don't want that hand moving away until, or that item moving away, until you've marked it with your verbal marker. All right, so get out there and practice that, guys.